Hi everyone, it's Amelia from Polk County Public Libraries and today I'm gonna to show you how to make our September adult take and make craft kit. This month we're gonna be making a sunflower trivet using clothespins that we take apart and then we'll paint them like a sunflower. So you can stop by the Columbus or Saluda Library at any time this month and pick up a kit that has all of the materials and yes, that's 26 clothespins to make a sunflower trivet. So let's get started. All right, so let's take a look at your kit. So this is an up close of the sunflower that you're gonna be making the trivet. And as you can see, it's the perfect size for a pot or for a mug. And this can be any type of flower, really. I just picked sunflowers because they remind me of the fall. And going into September, that's the perfect the perfect time to do sunflowers in my opinion. So we are going to start by taking all 26 of your clothespins and we're going to take them apart and we're going to discard the metal pieces that are attached to the clothespins. And this can be pretty tricky. You wanna make sure that you are aware of what you're doing because you don't want to get your fingers snapped by doing this um, because these little metal pieces can can poke you, um, but you're going to discard these. Go ahead and throw this away immediately, that way they don't end up on your floor and your carpet, um, because that would be pretty painful to step on. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss that. And we're gonna do that for all 26. And you can just lay your pieces next to each other because we're going to attach them with hot glue in a few minutes. So you've got that to start with your clothespins. In your kit, you should also have some black or brown paint, and you'll need that for the middle of your sunflower. You also have some orange and some yellow paint, and these mix together. And you can kind of blend them to get like a rustic-y um, sunflower, or you can use the, the very true orange and yellow and have a very bright sunflower. So it's up to you and however your kitchen or space that you're going to be using this looks like. Okay, so go ahead and take apart all of your clothespins and I will be right back with the hot glue gun. I already have it over here on the side heating up and that's something that you can do at home is go ahead and have that preheated so it's ready to go for our next step. All right, so I have several of my clothespins already taken apart and I will continue to take them apart throughout this video. But just so you can go ahead and get started with your hot glue, you're going to just take both sides of what would have been your traditional looking clothes pin that opens and closes this way. You're going to flip it and you're going to glue together the inverse of that. So it gives you a nice little sunflower petal shape. I've got my hot glue. This does not take a lot of hot glue at all. You're basically just securing those pieces together enough. Do you watch your fingers with this. So you want to hold it together. And a way that you can double check to make sure that your clothespin is lined up is to look for that rectangle in the middle and try to align that. And that will help you get, um, even if your clothespin is longer on one end than another end, remember that sunflowers are unique and yours is just going to be um, as unique from anybody else that's doing this craft at home. So again, match up those sides, add a strip of hot glue, Together. And your next one. You can go ahead and start laying these out to kind of match. They're going to make a, a small circle in the middle that'll fan out to give you this shape. Put some more hot glue on another one. And you're going to do this for all 26. Go ahead and put them together, and you can kind of see as you're laying it out. Do you need the full 26? You might not. If you want a smaller sunflower, you can certainly do a smaller one. So you're gonna start matching up those corners and it will eventually wrap around into a circle. Any extra hot glue you can just scrape off with your fingernail. Hot glue on 
one more just for the purpose of the example. Okay, so you've got the shape kind of started. And I would recommend going ahead and laying out all of your hot glued clothespins and go ahead and position them to see exactly how many you need and if you don't want to do your smaller you'll have fewer obviously and then when you get it all laid out you're going to take hot glue and put it on this bottom section okay, and attach it to its neighbor and you'll be surprised this, this ends up being pretty sturdy when it's finished those two you could do them in sets of two and then glue sets of two together whichever is easiest for you I think I'm gonna do sets of two and the hot glue dries so quickly this is really excellent for this craft I've got my extra hot glue I'm gonna scrape that off so now I can glue my two sets of two together same way, I'm going to put some glue there and attach them. You can lay this on a surface. If you are laying this on a surface and squishing it together, make sure that any glue that's on the bottom, you do pick it up before the glue hardens because you don't want it to be stuck to your table that you're working on. All right, so there is a section of my sunflower. If I lay this out, you can kind of see there's what it looks like on top. Okay, so you're going to continue making those so they go all the way around and then it will be time to paint. So we'll meet you back in just a second, especially since it's on the video. I will meet you back in just a second and we'll take a look at what the sunflower looks like before you paint it and then I'll show you how to paint it. All right, and this is what it looks like without paint, but you can see we have our full circle and it is a really fun design. And just because we took clothespins apart, I think that's amazing. So in your kit, you should have had 26 clothespins. To make my circle here, I have used approximately 25 and a half because I've got one left over and a half of one left over. And for that last piece, you can see where it fit right there in the circle. So I've got hot glue on both sides and just slid it right in but it fits in perfectly with the design. And now we can paint. So just like with this sunflower, you can see that we start on the outside with brighter colors and then we finish with lighter, a lighter layer on top. And then just to tie it all in, we put that um, like a gray or a black, kind of blend it in with your other colors and that's gonna be the very center of your sunflower. And I think since this one is kind of muted colors, I'm going to go for bright and vibrant with this, uh, this next one. But you can certainly tone your colors down using um, a blend of the orange and yellow or throw in some black or brown or whatever is in your kit. You can mix those all together and have a lot of fun. And then there are no rules. So if you decide that you don't want a sunflower and you just want a unique flower, you can paint it any way you like.